High in the Santa Rita Mountains, the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory lies between Tucson and Nogales, Arizona, within the protected borders of the Coronado National Forest. It is currently the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory's largest astronomical observing facility. Above much of the Earth's turbulent atmosphere, the observatory has clear skies and excellent observing conditions, yet is located within easy driving distance of the vibrant astronomy community in Tucson. Construction on the site began in 1966, and observations began in 1968. In 1981, the facility was named in honor of its founder, Dr. Fred Lawrence Whipple. Since its inception, the goal of the observatory has been pioneering results, but it has also been a laboratory for innovation in astronomy. New technologies are tested and refined here, advancing our knowledge of the universe through observations at a variety of wavelengths, including visible light, infrared, and gamma rays. Innovation started with the first telescope to become operational on the mountain, the Gamma Ray Reflector, a 10-meter diameter telescope designed to detect brief flashes of light produced by high-energy gamma rays in the Earth's atmosphere. Today, state-of-the-art ground-based gamma ray astronomy is spearheaded by VERITAS, Very Energetic Radiation Imaging Telescope Array System, located at the Whipple Observatory Base Camp. It consists of four 12-meter diameter reflectors, scanning the night sky to find gamma ray sources, such as supernovae, whose gamma photons can be trillions of times more energetic than those of visible light. What Veritas does is image light caused by particle cascades that are caused in the atmosphere, some of which are caused by gamma rays, and through the analysis of the images, we can basically reconstruct the direction and energy of the gamma rays and do astronomy with it. The Veritas Array is the world's most sensitive eye into the most exotic and extreme conditions in the universe, looking for clues to the mysteries of dark matter and black holes. About 17 kilometers from the base camp, at 2,300 meters elevation, is the RIDGE, a group of three specialized telescopes and two telescope arrays, optimized for different types of observations. The largest RIDGE telescope, the 1.5 meter diameter Tillinghast, provides valuable data on stellar evolution, supernovae, exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, and all sky surveys of galaxy spectra. Measurements from this telescope gave us our first view of the bubble distribution of galaxies in the universe. Also on the ridge is the 1.3 meter diameter Paratel, Peter's Automated Infrared Imaging Telescope, the first fully robotic infrared telescope in North America, dedicated to observing transient astronomical events events that provide targets of opportunity for new discoveries, such as supernovae and gamma-ray bursts. The 1.2-meter diameter telescope provides long-term studies of supernovae and high-accuracy measurements of a large variety of transient phenomena. The Whipple Observatory is a pioneer in the automated search for exoplanets found with the transit method and supports satellite missions dedicated to searches for these planets, such as Kepler. HATNET, established in 2003, uses an array of automated low-cost telescopes. It made some of the earliest exoplanet discoveries and today continues making discoveries. Today, the automated search for other Earths continues with MIRTH, the newest telescope system on the ridge. It is an array of eight automated off-the-shelf 40-centimeter diameter telescopes that monitor nearby M-type stars. Each clear night, the roof rolls off and the telescopes begin observing, searching for the faint transitory dimming caused by smaller Earth-sized planets, planets that might be good candidates for extraterrestrial life. 
At the 2,600-meter summit of Mount Hopkins is the largest optical telescope at the observatory, the MMT. The signature 6.5-meter diameter telescope jointly operated by the Smithsonian Institution and the University of Arizona. The MMT began operation in 1979 as the Multiple Mirror Telescope, a radical innovation for its time with six identical mirrors on a single mount combining their light-gathering power. These mirrors were not solid castings, but instead had an extremely lightweight honeycomb structure. This innovation reduced the weight of astronomical mirrors and let them cool quickly at night to improve the quality of observations. The MMT at the summit of Mount Hopkins used to be a multiple mirror telescope and it's uh, kept the acronym, but it's a single mirror, six and a half meter diameter primary mirror, and it's the jewel in the crown of the observatory. And it's a very versatile telescope because it does both uh, spectroscopy and imaging, and it's used in a variety of projects also that go from stars to galaxies, exoplanets, uh, supernovae, gamma ray bursts, you name it. So the MMT is a six and a half meter mirror and it's, that's a very large diameter and that large diameter allows us to collect light from very faint sources because it's a very large light bucket. Other things that are being studied here include looking at just the distribution of galaxies in the universe out to very, very large distances. It's being carried on now up here at the MMT with a very powerful spectrograph we have here called Hectospec. And with that spectrograph, we put light into the instrument from 300 galaxies at once, and that allows us to determine the distances to those galaxies. And we can make a three-dimensional map of the universe by knowing the position on the sky and then getting their distance from, these, um, from the redshifts that we measure with the spectra that are obtained. Another key innovation is the telescope's alt-azimuth mount that simplifies the telescope's bearings. The entire building co-rotates with the telescope, making the structure simpler and less expensive to build. The original MMT made important discoveries. Then it was made even larger in 2000. That year, a 6.5 meter diameter mirror produced by the new technology of spin casting, developed at the Stewart Observatory Mirror Lab, was installed, doubling the light gathering power of the MMT. In late 2002, another key innovation was the installation of the first deformable secondary mirror, making possible even sharper images. Other technologies, such as new cameras and spectrographs, enhance the sensitivity of the observations. Today, the MMT remains one of the premier North American telescopes. With the MMT, together with the other telescopes at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory, astronomers are pushing the frontiers of knowledge about our universe, opening up opportunities for young astronomers, and proving crucial technologies that will make possible the next generation of extremely large telescopes, including the Giant Magellan Telescope.